never felt more connected. I know. Being around our people, you know? So true. And that never happened in Portland. Same in Boston. You have to search for it. It's just different here. A good different. Mm. We can just be us. <laughs> About damn time. <laughs> How you finding it so far, Mia? <laughs> Earth to Mia. Sorry. We were asking. How are you finding it? Finding what? Here. How are you finding it here? Oh, um, here. Uh, right. Good. You okay, Mia? Yeah, I'm good. I was just thinking. Why? No need for that here. <laughs> I mean, our schedules are taken care of. It's so convenient and easy. <laughs> yes, John doesn't have to stress about when to pick the kids up anymore. Such a relief. That must be good for you and Daryl too. No more travel. You just seem so busy. Yes, it's nice. It's um, liberating. Oh. Green again? <laughs> oh my God. Gosh, well, I guess I'll see you both out there. And the board meeting tonight. Oh, yes! <laughs> of a worsening economic recession that some attribute to the nation's lax immigration laws, more violence erupted today in downtown Seattle as dueling protests between the far-right group, Rise of the Right, and the far-left organization, Activate, turned violent. Members of Rise of the Right, who many consider a white nationalist organization, shot rubber bullets at Activate activists who responded by yelling Nazis and setting cars and businesses on fire. At least 48 people were injured and three children between the ages of 12 through 14 are listed in critical this is the 16th race riot in recent weeks and the fourth in Seattle this month alone. Governor Sorensen said she will declare a state of emergency to keep Washington citizens safe and restore order as fears men. They said a few more years and I could apply for SVP. Ah, as in wait your turn, boy. See, corporate America for you. No different getting tenure? Sure it is. We have a process in place. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of uh, when some old white dude feels like it. Well, until you tech kids change the world for people who actually need it changed, I am perfectly happy enlightening the minds of tomorrow. Oh, yeah? Well, how about you uh, enlighten me, Professor White? Mm. If you stay out of the class. Ooh. Extra credit? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Okay. 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 Well, calm down, boy. Calm down. <laughs> hey, so, um, remind me again, why are we spending our Friday night with your college bros? First of all, they're not all bros. Julie and Nita will be there. Oh, great. Us girls can talk about ponies and dresses. Babe, I already told you. James and Amir have a new venture they want us to be a part of. In English, Daryl, okay? Not Silicon Valley doublespeak. You're not gonna get it out of me. You have to come and listen with an open mind. And I uh, do not think you will regret it. See? It's classic Darylism. Saying something and nothing at the same time. Well, it's worked on you pretty well so far, hasn't it? You know I don't want to go to this thing, right? Yeah, yeah, I know, but... It's the next big thing, blah, 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 blah. <sighs> you stand for kids and your idea. Look, um, with all the craziness that's been going on, I think a dinner with friends would be good. We could use a dinner with friends. It's harmless. I know, I know, I'm just tired from school. And look, if it is that bad, I'll sleep early. Mm -hmm. You promise? Oh yeah, it's got time. <laughs> Anyways, the kids need a break from us, yeah? Mm -hmm. Hey, what do you 
time is the babysitter coming? I think she uh, just pulled up. Well, does she know to give Jamal his Lexapro? Yes. You didn't have to. Ah, come on, neighbor. It's the least we can do. <laughs> it's too sweet. Thank you. So, where is he? Still getting ready? Yeah, he'll be down. Well, I really love your furniture and these flowers. It's, the house looks so remarkable. Thank you. It's time for an upgrade, you know? Yeah, I get it. May I take your coats? Uh, no, all right, thanks. Yeah, I think I'm fine as well. Thanks. Okay. Um, well, make yourselves at home. Red or white wine? Are you gonna... Oh, uh, no, I'm okay. He's probably got something up there for me. Okay. Um, why don't we just open up that bottle of wine? Great. I prefer white, too. <laughs> oh, look who it is. Speak of the devil. There he is. My favorite Stanford Cardinals. Hey, I thought I was your favorite, honey. Oh, you are, darling. But, uh, this is my wife causing trouble around here. <laughs> Uh, not nearly as much as you, old oh. friend. <laughs> hey, does there an old man call me old? Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> I the girls separate you two. There's no need. We'll happily self segregate Come here, shall we? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. That was quick. Okay. <laughs> Make yourself at home. Okay. So, uh, Basil's still treating you well? He is. Yeah. I'll be, uh... <laughs> I'll be SVP in January. Man, I would have never guessed. Amir Bashir, virgin hacker roommate in Toyon Hall, climbing the big corporate ladder. Do you at least get a free year of Amazon Prime? Uh, oof, no, I don't. Mm. But I'd rather get stock options than free shipping. Mm. Yeah, we have to admit, free shipping is everything. And those delivery drones, so fucking cool, dude. I swear, man, you haven't changed one bit. <laughs> Were you hoping I would? Uh, no, honestly, never. All right, so, tell me, I mean, come on, like, you didn't invite me over here for wine and cheese. Gotta yeah, bet it's good cheese though, isn't it? How much do you need? We have money. Okay, of cheese. And money. All of it? Mm. Yeah, every last penny. And some friends on the Hill are looking to grant opportunity. Congressional funding. Mm -hmm. The Hill. Mm. Wait. The Hill. Yeah, the, 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 the Hill. That's... How? Mm -hmm. Some well-placed friends in the uh, appropriations committee. You get the picture. <laughs> I, <laughs> I gotta say, man, I, um, I really didn't think you could pull it off. <laughs> I know you didn't. Amir the skeptic. All right, so, I mean, when will the beta launch then? Whenever you want it to. Say early next year. That soon. Oh yeah, pretty soon. I, I mean, are the islands even acquired yet? We're closing in them in weeks. But uh, that's a, that's incredible. Mm. I know, isn't it? <laughs> and you're certain the schools will be comparable? I wouldn't send our kids there if they weren't. And most of all, it will be safe. But there has to be differences, right? I mean, how can there not be? Hassan is already having such a hard time adjusting. I don't know if I can bring myself to, to up and move. Look, you will be in charge on the board. This is our company, you and I. No, no, Jules, I'm, 
I'm honored, but I just don't think I can manage it, if I have to be honest. I'm trying to convince Amir to give me a second baby, and Hassan will just be starting first grade. Do you remember Scott Reznor and Nick Shine freshman year? Oh my god, those two creeps that try to hit on us every five minutes in English <laughs> lit. How could I forget? Yeah. The guys that couldn't get laid if they fell on it. <laughs> and then Scott somehow managed to become student body president. Exactly. Because they're men living in a man's world playing to their own rules. We will be in control at Harmony. Jules, I, I don't know. Does Google have gender parity on its board? <sighs> of course not. Exactly. Neither does Netflix, Snapchat, Facebook. All of them run for men by men. At Harmony, we will be in complete control with a majority of female directors on the board. Where else is that possible? Not in Silicon Valley, that's for sure. Exactly. Not to mention the equity you're going to get from our company to provide the future that Hassan truly deserves. I want to support you so much. And I love that you want me to, to run this company with you and, and run this island, but I, part of me is really, really scared. I need you to be here with me. I need you to do something bigger with your life, and I know you can do it. We're gonna do this together, okay? This sauce is just so rich, Julie. Thanks, Mia. New recipe. Well, I would love to have a recipe. Done. How are the kids? <laughs> Causing havoc, as always. <laughs> How old now? Damien is four, and Jamal is... Six. <laughs> That's around Hassan's age. We should have a play date sometime. We should. <laughs> Man, who would have thought? Nerdy engineer doing keg stands in Kappa House. <laughs> Being a father. <laughs> Not me. Yeah. All times change. History, isn't it? Mm. Sorry? Daryl mentioned you're a professor now? Mm. Yes, uh, African American studies. Bonsoir. Which period? Early 20th century, mostly. Why? You familiar? Oh, well, I could say that. I studied a bit in my day. <laughs> Please excuse my husband, Mia. He thinks he's an expert on everything. Oh, it's fine. I know the feeling. <laughs> oh, hey, why am I being roped into this, huh? <laughs> because you married me. <laughs> well, now I do say marriage is a special bond. Isn't it, honey? Of course. Who else would I share my misery with? Exactly. And that's why we're here tonight? To share in our misery? <laughs> no, Mia, to celebrate friendships and partnerships old and new. I'd like to offer the first toast of the evening to the special bonds with my Stanford buddies, Daryl and Amir, and to the illustrious women in our lives, my darling Julie, Nida, and Mia, who make us actual, decent human beings. Here, here. Cheers. 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 Mm. Well, now that we're uh, all warmed up, Mir, take it away. Oh, thanks, James. Yeah. So, uh, is there a PowerPoint coming? <laughs> no, there's no need. It's a uh, it's much simpler than that, actually. Good, because their babysitter won't wait that long. Mm -hmm. I'll be brief, okay? <clears throat> so, most of you know that in the time since James left Facebook, we've been tinkering, tinkering, tinkering. Yeah, tinkering with a new way to foster connection and community, especially in light of the recent violence in Seattle and everywhere, frankly. We need to bring people together. I think that's the truth. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, activate and um, rise of the right. I mean, they can only be at each other's throats for so long before this whole thing just you know, explodes in our face. Exactly, exactly, that's right. And our research shows that anim animus between groups is, is at an all-time high right now. This era has not been kind mm -hmm. to the values that everyone at this table believes in. It's a scary time. Mm -hmm. Especially for our children. I see it in their faces. Yeah, yeah. and the trend lines are only getting worse. Yeah. There's more division, more discord, more violence. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just wait a minute. There's always been division and violence in this country. 
I mean, not the Civil War, Jim Crow, the KKK marches in Charlottesville. This is nothing new. It's not, but it's getting worse. Okay, look, 10 years ago, we didn't have unabashed white nationalists getting elected to Congress, oh, yeah. much less the presidency. Yeah. We didn't have violent race riots happening in every corner of this country. Okay, we didn't have bigotry being adopted mainstream. Maybe not, but we certainly had it a hundred years ago. We did. But shouldn't today be different? It should. But what are we gonna do about it, huh? <laughs> Create a utopia? <laughs> 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 well, <laughs> sort of. Allow me to present Harmony. Specially curated, separate and equal communities in natural environments. Separate and equal schools, hospitals, airports, municipal governments. Vibrant, data-driven beta communities with new businesses and new opportunities. A place for, for, for true harmony and peace. See, with the Harmonize app, the personality and data of every single community member will be analyzed to, to determine ideal social structure, mitigate violence, increase cohesion, and the app also allows for more convenience and access to all the amenities. That's right, that's right. Mm -hmm. So early next year, after years of research, into what makes communities thrive. We'll be launching a series of pilot harmony communities in the Puget Sound Islands. These communities are developed using a proprietary algorithm that connects people based on their shared interests, experiences, and education. Each community led by a hand-picked board of overseers will receive equal allotments of money and resources to get their community going. And even down to types of foods, cars, house colors, everything will be selected by the board and the Harmonize algorithm. Most of all, our 24-7 private security teams will keep each community safe. The best education and the best place to raise the future leaders of tomorrow. So true. Which is why Julie and I have brought you all here tonight to formally invite you to serve on the board for your respective Harmony communities. A chance to start over and raise our children in a safe, prosperous environment on the ground floor of a new venture that can change lives for the next generation. Now, Amir and Nita, I know you're already on board, correct? Yeah, of course. Nita and I have already discussed it and we're beyond thrilled. Fantastic. I must say, um... Before I spoke with you guys, I definitely had my doubts, but I think... I want to try new things, and after speaking with Jules earlier, I, I, I think it's going to be excellent. Thank you. Daryl and Mia? Um, James. <laughs> Thank you, really, for the offer. <laughs> but uh, Daryl and I are doing just fine in Seattle, and Damien and Jamal are thriving. So. Oh. And there must be some confusion. See, Daryl has already signed on. He did. Daryl? Yeah, yeah, um, it's true. That, sweetheart, this is uh, an amazing opportunity for us and the kids. Uh, uh um. <clears throat> Sorry, would you excuse me for just a moment? Daryl? We'll be, uh, just a minute. Sure. 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 I think we should accept it. Well, it sounds like you already have. In your name of the decency to ask me first. No, 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 I, I was going to. Wait, just... Well, we moved in. What the hell is wrong with you, Daryl? I'm sorry, okay? I, I am sorry. I just, I got a bit over my skis. Oh, Jesus. You even use a white people analogies now? I've known James and Amir since I was in college. 
and I trust them. I, I, I know it is a bit of, of a, a different... A bit I, different? It is a fucking concentration camp on an island, Daryl. No, no, we can go and go whenever we want. Oh, great. How comforting. So, what, what is it then? Huh? A, a, a black prison with a white name? This has nothing to do with color. This is a chance for us. Look, uh, sweetheart, they... They're right. The violence is getting worse. The hatred is real, and I know you feel it too. I don't want Damien and Jamal to go through the same struggles that we did. So, what? You think moving them into a Nazi's wet dream will help them? You see, I knew I shouldn't have come. I know you are angry. No, angry. Not angry, I'm confused. Confused as to where my husband went. I'm right here with you. No. No. Hey, we, we're, not, we're not doing this. And you're not going to con me into it. You are overreacting. You just listen to No. Sentence. We're not doing it. This, this, this is insane. No. We're going to go back in there. And you're going to rescind your offer to be on the board. And then we're going to get our things. And we're going to get the fuck out of here. Do you understand me? <laughs> no, I said... Do you understand me? Say yes, or I will cut your balls off so fast you will wish you had a vagina. Yes. Yes. So, is, is there a verdict? <clears throat> yes. And? Julie, James, we appreciate the offer, but Daryl and I discussed it, and it seems there was a miscommunication. Uh, uh, a mis yes. Right, Daryl? Yes. Um... Fear is a powerful thing. There is no fear, James. Integration is working just fine for us. But that's not what the data shows. Hold on, babe. Every homogenous country on the planet, Denmark, Norway, Japan, New Zealand, they all have better outcomes because they aren't cursed with diversity. Longer life expectancy, less violence, better health care, better education, a cleaner environment. Why do you think Utah nets zero homelessness? because they're a Mormon state and they love one another. Difference breeds hatred. Similarity breeds familiarity. All you have to do is turn on the news to see it. Yeah, but that's not how I see it, Julie. I mean, sure, we're going through tough times, but this is still the strongest country in the world. You say that tonight, Mia? But I fear for our children. Julie, shared identity didn't stop the civil war in Sierra Leone didn't stop the rise of the far-right radicals in uh, Poland or, or the brutal dictatorship in North Korea. In fact, it fueled it, including ineffable resource allocation, greed, money. <laughs> I am sorry, but folks need to know their history. All due respect, Mia, this isn't about the past, okay? This is about the future. Okay, we've done our homework. We should do that in college, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm whole. Better late than never, right? Right. Look, I get it, okay? I get it. It's bold, and it's audacious. But you know what? That's how change happens. What would get you to do yes, Mia? You know what, honey? Maybe we shouldn't do this tonight. Let's not make anyone uncomfortable. Of course not. Mia, Mia, um, if it's helpful, 
I had shared a lot of your concerns too. Um, but safety is the most important thing right now. And having our children be in a community where they're seen and understood yes. is even more important. Yes. I know you want what's best for Damien and Jamal. And we all want the same. I'm sorry, Nita. James. I really am sorry, sort of. But um, we really must be going. No, no, no. Mia? Mm -hmm. Each Harmony community will receive an equal allotment of money and resources. It's a chance to start over with people like us and raise our families in harmony. Now, our board needs only the most esteemed leaders, and we need you all on it, including you, Mia. Our investors want us to finalize our leadership team tonight. So, please, Mia and Daryl, I'm asking you tonight to join us. We really have to be going. We're in. I'm sorry, guys. I, I'm, I'm not joining us. <laughs> Have you all lost your damn minds? Mia. <clears throat> Calm down. Do you take your medication today, honey? I am not your honey. Mia. Yeah. No, I have to get out of here. Yeah. No, I'm not going to be a part of this, Daryl. I said I'm not going to do it. Congratulations. 